Papa is fun to be with you. He makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Always. Uh, you know, boy. How? I love the time I feel so great to be with Papa. Like, I don't know, when I'm with him, like, just, it's, it's like a friend. I'm just like a friend. Oh, it relates to you like they, friends? You know, it relates like parties. <laughs> so, Grandpa be to all the grandchildren. Okay, uh, okay. when I go to meet him for money, I'll for one money. Like, okay, it will be fair. I'll tell you about time I put it in his pocket. I count it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the Jamalu will just start <laughs> money. A lot like that. A lot. And then the Jamalu. A lot. <laughs> I think after I'm in the, the side of me create, creating music, because I won't sing, because why well, they fear people, if people plenty, I think okay, it's for money. You, 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 you have stage fright, oh, uh, crowd fright, I'm very and scared. culture shock. I'm very so you want to be the man that they don't see, but they see the work. Just listen to me. I did it every time with grass. You know, but you know, but I don't, I don't want to be. Fantastic moments with another grandchild of the great man, the legend, the philosopher king, the man of entertainment, and the man of God, Chief Commander, Evangelist Professor Ebenezer B. Fabi MFR. This one is a very unique one. His name is Olaniron Obi Fabi, and he's the son of Junior Commander Tolu Obi, the Juju musician and the fourth son, fifth child of Chief Commander, Professor Ebenezer Obi Fabi. We are very privileged to meet him. He's a producer, and he's going to say much about his grandfather. Mr. Lanyan, we are very privileged meeting you. It's nice to meet you. The, 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 the embarrassing thing is that you look like a father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what does it mean, being a grandson of Ebenezer Obi Fabi and the son of Tolubi, the Chief. guy that took over from his father by fire by thunder? All right. So <laughs> let's know you. OK, um, Obi Fabi Lanyan. Right, my friends called me Nero Boy. It was a name my grandfather usually called me when I was little. So when I was growing up, I wanted to de develop a stage name. So I was like, okay, I'll just go by Nero Boy. So I started by Nero Boy. Nero Boy. Yeah, so growing up, I never knew I would do music. Mm. But when I was in SS2, I had some challenges in school. So I thought I could not make it in school. Like, because I was a science student now. Science, <laughs> science is hard. So I just had to switch to music. Just like I didn't that. even know I came. But my dad usually tell me when I was little that music is in the blood. I was a drummer before I, become, mm. I became, I started playing the piano now. Mm. So I play the piano in churches. I do a lot. I play the bass guitar too. So I took my music seriously 2018. Mm. So when I took it seriously 2018, I went to Span at mm. 2020. Mm. I went to Span, a jazz and contemporary school, the Society of Performing Art of Nigeria, headed by Mrs. Sarah Bulos and Mr. Bryce Gaines. So 
I just started like that, started one way. Hmm. So I started music production too. That's interesting. I said my brother Royce LK. I produced his first album. Who is that? Your Royce LK, yes, my immediate senior brother. Oh, wonderful. So I produced his first album. When I produced his first album, I produced first five tracks in his album. That's interesting. So that was the first project I did I released out. I, I was out there. What was the name of that album? Classic The EP by Royce LK. Classic The EP. The EP? Yeah. By who? Royce LK. Royce LK. Royce, like Rose Royce. Royce. Okay, Royce, 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 yeah. Royce LK. That's yeah. your elder brother. The same father? The same father. Wonderful. Yeah. So I started like that. So Grandpa he discovered that I was. I, I won't say I'm good. It's called I'm, I'm learning. It's called that like, I had something. That's your granddad? Yes. So you notice like, it? He picked interest in me and we started making music together. I'm surprised. How did the old man discover that this guy is a genius? I mean, they, because they told me, you said you are learning, but they told me that you are his second hand, you are, you are his second in command when it comes to music production. No. So how did you become Ebenezer Obey's second in command? And the thing is, uh, my cousins and my family, everybody, they feel I'm so good. Uh, I feel, I never, so they just feel like this guy is too good, he practices, he does this, he does that. I'm like, no, I'm not grandpa second hand in command. I'm not, I'm not yet. I'm already yet. But they say you are yet, that you are there, that you did a lot, that anything music. In this family, you are the zigzag doctor. And they feel so, but I know I'm not yet the second. I'm not yet. Very soon. <laughs> Very soon, sir. Now, let me talk about this. Your, your, your dad sings like his father. So what does it mean to you? Your uh, grandfather is a juju musician, a great grand juju, Miliki juju musician. is the godfather of juju Miliki. Then your father is taking after his own father. So how does that blood, how does it do you as the son of a man born by a great man? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a very big privilege. I thank the Lord, because mm. I don't even know. I really thank the Lord, because it's, it's, a, it's a very big and huge responsibility on me, myself, my brothers, even the family, the children and the grandchildren. It's a responsibility on us. First, grandpa's own. Grandpa leave a legacy, a very big one. Yes, I don't know. He has lived it already. Yes, he's still he's living around big, it. It's big enough for mm. even the generations to come before. Mm. So, so you get, it's just like, Whiskey than the video now. Many people want to, like, he was in, when he was in his prime, he was stopping the chart. So you had a son, my daddy too, took over. My daddy is in his own, like, to his own capacity, he's big, he's built and made. So me too, I, I just, I feel happy. I feel happy. But I feel, feel fulfilled? I feel fulfilled, but I feel there's a lot of work for me to do. Because, you know, my, gra my grandfather, Ebenezer Obey, my daddy, Tolu Obey, me, Nino Obey, before they expect a lot from me. Like, they expect from my. I see him as a mentor, my uncle, I call him Uncle Madikuti. He's so, if you look at it, it's like three generations of Afrobeats mm. from Pafela to Uncle Femi to Uncle Made. This past is the third generation. So, this is the third generation of Juju music. Everybody expects a lot from me. So, I feel it's a very irresponsibility I have to carry. Mm. Yes. Mm. When you look at your father perform and you look at your grandfather, what did you notice? It's very similar because it's very, very similar. It's very similar. It seems like his dad, and I'm proud of him. Yeah, very proud of my dad. Yeah, yeah. Anytime you sit with your father, what inspiration do you draw from him? I'm not talking about your grandfather. I'm talking about Tolubi. I a lot. My daddy. I would say my daddy is my music. Um, your dad is your music. Because he really invested in my music. He we practice practice together. He plays the guitar very well. So we play together. If I because I'm in a jazz music school, if I go to school, that pops. I don't learn two five one or race or do we go play them together? Let's do this. Uh, Okay, mm -hmm. you're talking about the turning of us. Yes, like we play like two, five, one, like music terms. Because like in my family, I'm I'm privileged to know music like more than my other brothers. So they don't they don't if if not music, you know they follow me late. <laughs> so I don't start. Now my papa they follow me on that. I said, okay, daddy. I'm like if I see, I can, I can sit in the parlor. I'm like yes, pops, you don't enter now. Okay, that is like this. If you're on your um, ibalo yekashi, fele yes. dumare, fele dumare oba, we play so do fa. My brother has a blue king. What's up, do far me, redo? Do be like, what's this guy saying? So, only my daddy understands. So, it got to a point, I could not relate to them well, just my dad alone. Wake up in the morning, I practice with my dad, everything, just my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so grateful for God that yeah. this genius is in this family. Now, let's go to grandpa. Yeah. How did you become somebody that is, I mean, I, most of the time I've come to this house, but I've not seen you, but they let me know that you are the. When Baba is churning out inspirations, you are the only, you are the Amuba leg, but the one you can say, okay, come and even interpret. So, how did your grandfather discover you, and how did you discover him, and who is he, basically? Okay, I'll say there was, there was one day, 
there was this this one big man in the industry I really expect, Mr. Wally Mr. Wally um, Wally Base, Wally Echo. So he was having a concert at the KJA. So me and my brother we went. So we got stranded. Yeah. So it's not for academy guest house, if you know the place around the Kejaye. Okay, academy guest house. So we trekked from that place to this place, knowing that Gamba there was the rest they said to. So I walked into his real house. So he just said I should just play anything, and I played one intro for him. And I, I was still practicing because I was eating in my body that time. <laughs> you see, in my body. Like, Gamba was so shocked. He was like, I said, come on, you. I said to the world. I was like, wow. I, mean, I, I I could never play because I, 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 that, that, that moment, I was never, I, I've not been able to overcome crowd. Like all these yeah. band members, the top guys in Juju, they, <laughs> they, they fear, man, and they shake. I just, culture shock. I just play, I mean, I close my play, I mean, yeah. even when I said, I was like, Tim, Tim Sobe was there now. Like, <laughs> so, sorry, one more time. I was bored. He felt it that it was so good, and he felt like, he knows that I have it in I just needed to be. Encouragement. Yes, encouragement, and, and I needed to be shaping. I would like to so. He took me, so if he needs anything, just you know, do this. If I do it, okay, she buy, she buy. There's even an art, we are, we are working on a track mm. where we will be grandchildren. I'm producing the track. I'm even singing, my cousins are singing. He brought, if you listen to the track, you guys will listen to it soon. He brought all the intros, all the ideas, grandpa. Grandpa so brought everything. He just bring it on his, like, just come like that. To me, I'm, I'm is that, that's what I want to learn from me, how to, how to, how to think and create spontaneously. He does that, so that's what, so he, is helping me become the person I can, like the mm. best musician I can become. So, so, so you mean Ebenezer Obey? The, 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 the God just bring those inspiration and he just download it and you interpret. He did, he did Baba do. Baba is Grandpa is eighty. Grandpa, let me say, he will be eighty. Grandpa yeah. is very smart musically. I don't know, he's, I, I, I don't know how it is for him. Grandpa is, is going to his room. He's listening to something. He didn't plan it before. Grandpa will start singing something. Grandpa has not had before, like. He's just so creative, very creative. He, he will just start downpouring it and... In Capano, they write song. He don't, he don't write it. Once, and if you don't record it, forget the song. If you should go again, remember, he will sing the same song for you. Capano is... I don't know. I mean, sitting with him, how will you define him? I mean, any time you are in the ambience, how will you define Ebenezer will be? My, my Capano is fun to be with, though. It makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Always. Uh, you know, boy. How? I feel so great to be with my Capano. Like... I don't know, when I'm with him, like, just, it's, it's like a friend. Let me say it's like a friend. Oh, it relates to you like they, a friend? You know, they, relate, they relate like parties. <laughs> so grandpa be to all the grandchildren. So what, what are those things he says to you that, make, that, that makes you laugh? I mean, I, anytime you just are lonely, maybe you are bathing, you just think about it and you just laugh. You're like, okay. Okay, when I go to meet him for money, I grandpa one money. like, okay, you look for it. Okay, we have more time on. You put it in his pocket. I can say two, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, Ellen Jamalu. We just call him one. A lot like that. A lot. Ellen Jamalu. A lot. But the way you take those monies from me, how do you do it? I just tell him I need money and give him money. He anyway. doesn't know how to say no. No, 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 no. Ah. So, 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 musically, what other thing do you learn from him? Apart from his spontaneous, inspirational release, mm -hmm. what other thing do you learn from Ebenezer Obi? as an institution, and you are just lucky to be around him. I learned, I, I don't even know, I learned, let me say, I, I learned musical business from grandpa. Musical business? Hmm. Not just musical business? Musical business, and also, like, I learned musical business, and musical, I'll put it like, I'll say musical humility. Musical immunity And musical business hmm. from grandpa. What's musical immunity? I'm just hearing that word for the first okay. time. Musical immunity. My grandpa is so humble. I've not seen the person that is as humble as my grandpa is. Sometimes, because if my daddy should enter now, my daddy told me to tell if you should enter his house, grandpa cannot, he, he could not see the person that's at the door. He would just say, he was straight and greet. Like, he's very humble. Grandpa is a big star. Now, if you don't greet anybody, nobody go ask him. Now, he brings up nobody. Grandpa is very humble, musically. He, he does not fight for fame. He does not fight for, he's just there. The music aspect, the music business aspect, mm. he structured his music business very well. He's not doing music for money, he's just doing it for the love of it. Mm. He's doing it for the passion. Some people call grandpa, I'm like, my grandpa, if they charge these guys like 25 million, they go pay. You have worked for it in the past, you have big, an icon. If when Whiskey was doing his interview for, for his album, Made in Lagos, grandpa has ego, if they are calling musicians, grandpa name has, he has worked for this thing in the past. Grandpa will not charge. Will not charge like this. They need help. Let me help them. They need to do this always. 
I learned it from grandpa. So it's sang for empathy. He love it. Yes, for the love of music. The passion. Because the money, if grandpa did money for music for money, it will not become as big as it is today. He did it for the love of music, mm. for the passion he had for it. Mm. I'm shocked. This is in fact, this is a fantastic revelation. This is the truth that we have said. He did it for the passion, the gift. Mm. The, 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 the real gift God gave him. Mm. He didn't monetize it too much. No. Mm. But d despite that, he's still the most sought after juju musician in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. People go as much as paying five million, some even fights to pay 3.54 million, the daddy age or and you laugh at How do you handle that? Your, your, your grandpa is still busy at this age. Well, sometimes from I'm, January to December. Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm not happy because she let the man rest now. We don't keep about don't perform. Leave this man alone. But I, I, I got to understand that grandpa said he no one rest. The thing they push, he still wants to sing. It's, he has taken music is like his lifestyle. Do you understand? I feel if 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 if, if he should stop being music now, so it won't. It will, we won't will help his health. Like he, he should continue if he wants to, cause he can't stop it. Now it's it's not at home. Grandpa don't go sing again. Yes, I know. For the other people to get today, you know we we'll come back to like next week. When they sing, sing, lira, lira. Mm. Yes, I know. I, 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 I'm aware back. that his schedule is busy from January to December. That so old man what, like that. But there was a time they took him abroad. They, they, you know, and you know they have to put him in the plane. Sometimes private jet. I've had situation where they took him in a private jet, maybe to somewhere like Togo to go and play in a parlor party. A lot of people want to have him around. So what does that tell you about him? About his Creativity about his genius and all that. It just, it just, it's ringing in my head. That I should just be consistent with whatever I do. I should be consistent. I should not be mediocre at it. Mm. I should be consistent. Kapa was very consistent. But I told me that it was one time. Kapa sent to the point that in Nigeria, when there was no money in Nigeria, you sing at TBS, you give Nigeria all the money they make. Tell the Nigeria government to come and pack. It's consistency. It's very consistent. Very singing back to back. Church, we are going to everywhere. It's very consistent. Oh, God. That's interesting. Do you like any of his songs and which one do you like most? Uh, well, all his songs are fantastic, but the one I love that I'm not even able to like get over his um, this one. He will love her, or something, or Remy, my Jaja, or you. I love that one. And I love okay. I must call the parts that he sang. Um, Esa mami, ibine dio. Esa mami, ibine dio. Esa mami, ibine dio. That part. Baba ese, ibine dio. Baba orente, ibine dio. Baba Michael, esa mami, ibine dio. That's yeah, that's that's. Chief Gabriel, that's how I wrote ibine dio. Yeah, I love that part. I love that. That that's praising ibine dio. And I love Ibat. I love what he's singing. Okay, Ibat. Do you catch it? Fele du mare, fele du mare yo. Bao, Ajuba Lodore, Ajuba Lodore, Baba Mimo, Le Du Mari, Oba Oke, Le Du Mari, Oba Oke, Ajuba Kibashe. Yes, sir. So, what does his music do to you? I mean, in this age? Yeah, a lot of people feel his own day's music. But I like my production, I the infused Jujunta my production. I'm, so, I'm trying to create, like, because he has lived the leg, he's tired already. He has mm. left it in our hands, like, she carry it. So mm. the music, the past music is gold. Like Mr. Bright used to tell me, I have gold in my hands, but I don't know. Like you I have, have gold in your hand. So it's left you how to yeah. market your gold yeah. and sell it to the world. I mm. have gold in my hands. Raw gold. Raw. He has done a lot of works down. Yes. He sits me down to teach me how to like, how, how, to, how to create juju. Like it, I feel grandpa created the genre on its own. Yes, juju. Grandpa, he created yes, the journey, so he... Especially the Juju Miliki, yeah. Juju Miliki band. Uh, Juju Miliki brand, I mean. Yes, Grandpa, so he's teaching me, he's teaching me the nuances of the Juju music, the characteristics, what has supposed to be in the... Everything, just, just say to me, okay, you should use this. If you are, Whenever you are playing, I will give you guys a tip. Hmm. Most people do Juju today, like... Everybody uses talking drum, but I don't like talking drum. I told you, no, you have to use it. If you don't use talking drum in your song, there's no more Juju, no more Kodun He hmm. teaches me those tips, life tips. I learned a lot from Grandpa. Hmm. So, do you see yourself taking after him? In what way and how? Mm, I take after, after him in the, the side of me create, creating music because I won't sing because why well, they fear people if people plenty. I feel okay, for body. You, 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 you stage frights, oh, well. crowd frights. I'm very I'm culture shock. I'm very so you want to be the man that they don't see, but they see the work. Just listen to me. Like, who did it? Everything I always grasp on. You know, but you know, but I don't. I don't want to be that kind of person. That's interesting. But with time, I feel and I pray I overcome that fear. Hmm. So I'm going to go to the world. 
Like, like, how old are you now? We thought I was I'm 19, sir. I'm 19 now. You, you talk more than in <laughs> child of 19. Do you read books? I don't read, really, I just practice piano. Hmm. Piano. So the music in you, and you in music. You are the first son of Tolobi. No. Second. Be third son. Third. Third son. Ha. Huh? That's interesting. You've tried. You've taken yeah. the music out of the family and you are trying to rebrand it and all that. Now, how do you want the world to celebrate Grandpa at 80? I mean, people in Cuba, in Brazil, in Germany, America, Australia, Europe, people that see Ebenezer Obey as their idol and their legend, a lot of people that their grandfather's music have changed their life. How do you want to celebrate him at 80? I just want them to vibe, man, because not everybody will be able to make it for the belly, you know? Some be very far away from home, some be far, far away from Nigeria. I just celebrate this man. Because I have things undergoing, I have a lot of things I'm doing with my cousins, my brothers, to just celebrate grandpa. Just celebrate him anywhere you can. Anywhere just, around the world? Anywhere you can, anyhow, just celebrate him. Mm. Uh, you can. But if you're in Lagos, if you turn up, you're going to make it big for him. Mm. Yeah. I want to thank you. For, uh, we should have been talking and talking and talking, but I think some other time I'm going to still meet you. Thank you, sir. can talk about your dreams and your aspirations. It's very for music because I can see that you are going places. But yeah, I want amen. to thank you and I wish you that you're going to be greater than your grandfather. Amen, sir. In Jesus' name. Amen, sir. Greater than your father. Amen, because sir. I know your father to low below Yes, sir. So this guy is fantastic. Nero Boy. Fantastic grandson of the Legion, Chief Commander, Professor Evangelist Ebenezer Obe, Fabi MFR. I want to thank God for this inspiration. At 80, this family is a legacy, a living legacy and it's going to be bigger than this. We're going to meet another grandchild. Please continue to share the broadcast, celebrate the great man. Thank you. God bless you.